good evening, everybody. You know? Hi, Bobby! Hey, guys, how are you? You know, only a few bands in rock can claim to have made a huge impact on the art form, and Alice in Chains is one of those select few. And tonight on Rockline, we welcome from Alice in Chains guitarist Jerry Cantrell. How Thank you doing? You. How you doing, man? Doing fine. Good to see you again. The last time I saw you was with Metallica, right? Yeah, in Chicago, I think. That's right. Yeah. 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 You were hooked up with Metallica, and you had the Boggy Depot CD out. Yeah, we toured all summer with those guys. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a good tour to be on. It man. was very fun, yeah. Talked to uh, Ted Nugent the other night, and he's going to be playing New Year's Eve in Detroit with Metallica. <laughs> Dude. So that's, uh, that's a good one, too. And also on bass, we have Mike Inez. Welcome to Rockline. Good hey, to see Bob. you again. Glad to be here. The and question is, is he going to bring the tail back? <laughs> Never mind. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little while. <laughs> I, know what you, I think I know what Those you're talking about there. Dead space did not work. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jerry and Mike and I are in the Hollywood Rockline studio, and somewhere in upstate New York is Sean Kenny, the drummer for the band. Hey, Sean, how are you tonight? I am fine, Bob. <laughs> yeah. he, he was Mr. Livewire a minute ago, and now it's I am fine, Bob. Thank you. He's, he's a little shy. People you know? don't know that about yeah. Sean. He is a he's he, pretty shy. He's guy. pretty sensitive, you know. Well, we'll, we'll be easy on Sean tonight, you know. Touchy feely fellow. But there's touchy feely fellow. There's nothing safe tonight. I Stop want you guys touching to know and that, feeling so. yourself. The new CD is called Nothing you Safe, and uh, this this is a greatest hits album with a new song, but it's really a lot more than that, isn't it? There's uh, there's some unreleased material. There's, and, all, uh, there's all kinds of stuff on it. I mean, we got demo stuff, unreleased stuff. It's The way I look at it is basically it's kind of a celebration of what we did, you know, and, and what we still do, you know. And uh, it's cool. It's, you know, it's for the fans, so enjoy. And a chance, Mike, to put uh, the song from Last Action Hero on there. Yeah, we actually both of, the, both of them, right? I think uh, we got both of them on. Yeah, yeah. Got on the actual box set, I think. Both on the of them actual box set, yeah. I think on the new one we have one. We did some new remixes, and it's uh, cranial crushing. It's cranial crushing, definitely. Now, let's ask uh, Sean a question there, who's in upstate New York. Uh, is all the unplugged material from MTV, or is there other sources for that? <laughs> yes, it is from the un <laughs> MTV unplugged. M -twa -la. Yes. <laughs> Let's plug MTV because you know I watch it. Yeah, right. I you love it. Yeah, there's, there's, there's all kinds of stuff on there, and it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's kind of cool actually going back and listening to all that stuff, even the dorky crap. And uh, it was fun putting it there together. There are a so. few embarrassing moments. Oh, there's quite a few. There's <laughs> quite a few. Er, early career, but we threw it on there because you know that's that was part of it. That was where we were. Now, what what constitutes dorky crap? Dorky, uh, yeah. everything we do, basically. Pretty much everything you do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, you know, we're dorks. So pretty much, yeah. There's not, a, there's, not a whole lot of things, there's not a whole lot of things you can put in, you know, outside of that category. Uh, no, just kidding. Well, at least there's no discrimination. That's you know? right. You just we're, we're all in blanket agreement. label everything that, you know. You know, we had fun yeah. doing all that stuff, and it's been great, uh, you know, doing this for all these years. And especially, you know, how we started from a you know, little little band in Seattle, you know, playing the Kent Skate Ring and uh, and uh, to where it's come to. So it's, this is kind of just for, you know, everybody who who supported us and, and dug the stuff. This, we're giving you as, as much as we can and even even more stuff than we thought we had. So and there's going to be even more coming on down the line. Oh, yeah. You've got nothing safe now and then. We've been remixing <coughs> a lot of stuff and going through yeah. all the demos and, and uh, B-sides and outtakes, and it's just, a, it's, it's just really nice to revisit all that stuff. It was. It was pretty fun. And you got a three CD box set coming out sometime in the fall. Uh, I think it's September sometime or something like that. Oh, don't don't no quote idea. me. But where's Pete mm -hmm. Fletcher? It's uh, not until yeah, it'll, it'll be it'll be sometime in the fall. The yeah. label people and management are never. Where's the where's the, the record, record weasel? Time for Halloween. <laughs> look, look for where the beer is. Where's the record them. weasel? <laughs> uh, tell us about the new song, uh, "Get Born Again." Uh, when was this written? Uh, where recorded? Uh, give us some background information on this. Who wants to we were that? down at uh, we were we were uh, working with uh, Dave Jordan and. Uh, we were at his studio in El Dorado, and we kind of just kind of got together and, ma and made it up on the spot, which is what we generally do a lot of times. Uh, because, you know, we don't rehearse or anything. Because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, we, okay, got to do a record, write a song. And, uh, I mean, that's how Jar of Flies was. That's, uh, we, we, we had nothing in that, and we went and wrote and recorded that in seven days, and that's some of the best stuff we ever did. And both of these songs, Get Born Again and... Uh, uh, died, died. Died. Died are, are, uh, are, are very cool. You know, they're very fun. And... Uh, it was, uh, it was cool making them up. Okay, and now we may be confusing people. Get Born Again is on Nothing Safe. Yeah, but and the it, other track will but, be on the but, box set. Yeah, but then that, that came from the same session. Yeah, yeah and yeah. we finished that with Toby both Wright. Of them will be on the box I just don't yeah, want people walking out to, safe to, to buy Nothing Safe set. and then oh, well, they don't get both tracks. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. So well, you know, we got it's a marketing move, man. Of course, it's a marketing <laughs> move. And uh, Little Birdie told me the uh, three CD box set is out on October. Well, this, 5th, this is so. just a te oh, teaser, a little taster of what you're going to get, and then you're going to get the whole load in September if you choose to. Uh, <laughs> the whole 
low. If you choose to uh, <laughs> su supply the face to receive it. Well, <laughs> if we're going to so get a little taste. Thank you very much. If we're going to get a little taste. I rehearsed um, that. Why don't we? Oh, that a face? Okay, <laughs> I'm getting more information here. 48 tracks and 12 of those previously unreleased. In the, there you the go. Forthcoming box set. If we're going to get a little taste, let's take a big bite right now. Do this it. is Get Born Again. Slap it on, brother. Here we go. Bob Coburn, an evening with Alice in Chains with Sean and Mike and Jerry. And I guess Lane Staley's about the only one we're missing here right now. Uh, Put him on the phone. Lane, are you on the phone? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, What's welcome up, to Rockline, man. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Stooley. Blanche Stooley. Blanche. Hey. So, say hi to Sean. He's in Albany, New York. Hey, what's up, Sean? I'm in Albany, New York. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he came over swinging? here with this... Well, I'm over here with this... Uh, He's a he's a Arab sheik, and he's he just says he loves me. He's treat me right. And, uh, so <laughs> right I'm on this you vacation pay. with him. He pays you well. He, he, I think he wants to touch me where I pee, but I, I'm playing hard to Vacation with the Haitian. <laughs> a vacation with the Haitian. There you go. Yeah, I thought you know why wear a condom. Once, like a, yeah. Next time I'll be in Haiti. Right. Bad <laughs> idea. Only do it once. <laughs> <laughs> when's, the, when's the last time the four of you guys talked? Uh. Ten years ago. Last time we were on Rockline. <laughs> Ten years ago. Last time we were on Rockline. Okay, all right. Yeah. It's a public service for Alice in Chains kind of show is what it really is. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lane, what's going on with you? How are you doing up there? Are you in Seattle? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Things going good? Yeah, I'm holding the town together. Right. You're holding the town together. <laughs> uh, we, we just, this is that glue. We just played Get Born Again. Sound real good on that, man. that really holds oh, it yeah? all together, you know? Yeah, we just played it. Then you, you sound really great. Good, solid oh, right vocal. on. Play it again. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think we're going to, a little later on, play something that's not on Nothing Safe that's going to be released on October 5th called Sea of Sorrow. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah? they're going to play the demo for it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Oh, I'm real excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> try, try and contain your enthusiasm. Lane. It's actually a better track. I mean, uh, the track, the track really sonic, sonically is better on, cool. on Facelift, but uh, the energy was a lot better on the demo. Well, that's we, why we you could just release an album with just every version of Sea of Sorrow, you know. <laughs> Get other bands to cover it, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Sea of Sorrow album. There you go. That's Lane's favorite song. Uh, any chance of you guys getting back together and doing any, any brand new material besides the two that are going to be on the box set? We'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Jerry jumps right in there. We'll let you know. Yeah. Lane, what's your attitude toward that? Are you ready to record uh, again? Sure. I'd do it any time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the official word. Hey, I heard a track with you and Ann Wilson the other day, a, a gospel-flavored song. Dylan Man, was tune. that good. A Dylan tune? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? That, that was, was great, wasn't it? That was outstanding. <laughs> 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 if he doesn't mind him saying so himself, yeah. That was really good. That's a good piece of work. Do you remember the name of that song? He's not yeah, um Oh, what was that? It's a Bob Dylan song. Oh, God, I can't remember. Well, that narrows it down to 912 Brain songs. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, did you? Uh, uh, <laughs> Check out this weird little coincidence from Albany, New York. Bob Dylan and Paul Simon are playing tomorrow, and they're staying, oh, at, the Omni, the, what it was. They're staying at the same hotel. Get those guys on the phone. Ring them bells. Yeah, yeah, ring them bells. Ring them yeah. bells. That was the name of it, yeah. Me and Bob nice work, and uh, Paul are going to do like a little sing-along at the Irish bar at the Omni. Are really? you going to wear condoms? Are you going to do, where is Migra? We got to watch that little stuff there, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's all right. He was, that was swearing in Swedish. So <laughs> He's swearing in Swedish, yeah. Oh, so the F word's the same in Swedish. Yeah. Huh? Are, are you finished with that? It, no, it's actually it's, a, it's like a fish. It's some sort of fish. I told you, when we get all together, dude, it's insanity. I got to tell you, this is insanity, and this is so weird for me. We got I felt the fish. We just put it into music, you know? We got Lane on the phone in Seattle. We, we've got Sean We're talking in, in upstate the fish New York. In Albany with the Prince. I got Mike and Jerry here. I hear people talking, mouths don't move. I, you know, I don't know, I don't know where I am on one of I'm getting seasick. I hope you're having fun out there, y'all. <laughs> And we're just getting started. That's right. All right, Lane, we're going to cut you loose so we can take some calls. All right. We're, oh, man. All right. No, you, you want to hang on? Call back and hassle us. Yeah? You want, you want to, why don't you hang on and, and answer the calls with us? Yeah, okay? that's good. All right, sure. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's no talk math. Can, can we do that, you guys? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Is love, that possible love to do that? Let's take some calls. Or are we going to lose can him? Can we do that? No, I'm here. No, I, I don't know. I'm trying to talk we'll, to my crew in here. So we'll, have to, we'll have to call him back, probably. We'll have to call you right back, Lane. All right, uh, call no. me back. Okay. When did Jerry start producing Bye. this show? Okay. <laughs> Lane, you know, I'm a man of many yeah. talents. Lane, hang we're on, and we're going to work this out, work out the technical end of it, and then we'll have all four Thank of you guys. You. Right now, we're going to play them Bones by Alice in Chains. Fine, John. Hey, John. <laughs> Welcome aboard, pal. Uh, hi there, guys. 
Hey, John. Porta Buddy. Welcome. Yeah. Interesting, all four of you in the room at one time. No, we're not in the same room, man. We're in New York, we're Washington, all over the place. And, and, and California. That's right. And you're in, in uh, Pennsylvania. So yeah. You're hey. in Harrisburg, pal. Yeah. Are you a Quaker by any chance? <laughs> no. <laughs> Way to go, Sean. Amish? No. John, what's your question? I, I got two questions for you. Okay. Uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you, um, what was it like headlining the Lollapalooza tour? And also, um, what would you, which of your songs would you say is the most underappreciated? All of them, man. <laughs> a tortured artist to think. Uh, you know what? That that the Lollapalooza was probably the funnest tour I have ever done, and it's probably the funnest Lollapalooza I've ever seen because there was so much interaction between the bands, with the exception of Arrested Development. But everybody was playing with, uh, we were playing with each other and <laughs> doing it on stage. You know, it, it was great. It was. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. It was a real. It was kind of a family thing. You know, it was really cool. That was Sherry with the answer there. And Sean or Mike, uh, any song that you think has been kind of forgotten about uh, uh, forgotten about in the Allison Chains catalog? Ooh, I don't know. We tend to try to forget them all. <laughs> <laughs> we're usually <laughs> moving on to the next thing by the time you hear the record. <laughs> so we're, we're probably the wrong guys to answer that, to be honest. Yeah, well, let's go back to John very quickly. John, what song do you think has been most forgotten by That's Allison a better Chains? question. Yeah. A better deal there. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Yeah, see, huh? Answer, Not either, so huh? easy, is it, yeah. pal? Huh? Uh-huh. See, you try it for a while. <laughs> See if we ever go to Harrisburg. Yeah, Punk. Pal. <laughs> Thanks for calling, John. John, thanks for being on. Hey, Joe and John. Hey, guys. What's up, Joe? Hey, um, I want to know what... Um... Spit it out, man. Come on. <laughs> Lay it out. <laughs> um... Sorry, this hold is not my question. Don't be afraid, dude. Come on, just let it, let it out. It's just us. Just remember, oh, yeah. you're a living, breathing organism on this I planet. Know if you Was think... it girl sheep? I want to know if you think music is an influence on teen violence. Uh, boy, if it gets a question and then that comes out. I haven't out. killed Man. anybody yet. I haven't killed anybody yet. The first one, okay? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Of course, think, the night is I young. Think people are... I, I think I think that uh, people. I, I think we spend too much time blaming perif- peripheral things for problems that are at home, and the basic problem that uh, a lot of these kids have are from their parents and and their upbringing and. and uh, and I think a lot of people get blamed for stuff that's that's ridiculous. Uh, I think uh, saying that music incites uh, violence in teens is is a completely ridiculous statement. It's it's a lot closer to home. And Jerry just mm-hmm. stated he's never Brooks killed anybody. Makes me want to kill people, but I don't do it. Yeah, Sean's never yeah. killed anybody. Mike, have you ever killed anybody? I want to turn on tunes. Uh, I just want to rock out. You know, no, but I, oh, <laughs> that's all I want to do. I, th- I think it just goes back to parenting, though. I think uh, kids shouldn't have kids, and you should think about uh, having a kid before you torture it yeah. and uh i'd just like to add britney spears a little doughy little doughy well yeah. little doughy you go. <laughs> thanks joe yeah there you go thanks joe for being on and uh gee we're gonna play we die young you know, apropos who's your favorite? Or, <laughs> yeah right <laughs> thanks a lot yeah. bob yeah we're and set up instead that instead of we yeah. die young let's just play keep, who's your nah, keep the whole theme going there's no pal. violence or themes of death in rock and roll at all here's we die young but so i uh, Sean and Mike and Jerry Damn, and uh, intermittently uh, Lane making an appearance here and there. And uh, uh, Time for this week's Encore question is brought to you by the new Encore movie channel now with recent big hit movies and a great movie every night. And uh, see, do we have do we have Lane there? Is he available now? Yeah. Lane, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is um, we had Def Leppard on last week and they left a question for you guys. So uh, here's the question. Just listen up and then you can answer it as soon as they finish here. Here we go. This is, uh, this is Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. This oh question God. is for Jerry Cantrell from Alice in Chains. Hello, Jerry. You may remember me from just a few weeks ago at the Sunset Marquee Hotel where we had a very long drunken session till God knows what time in the morning. You told me that there was one particular record by one particular band that basically made you pick up the guitar in 1980. And I want to know if A, you've got the guts to admit it, and B, if you can remember who the artist is and what the name of the album is. Oh, that's tough. Probably Elton John, and it was probably Caribou, I would say. Maybe Caribou or, or Captain Fantastic, or is that correct? Well, actually, no. Uh, this this Bob Coburn. I'm going to jump in here because I was with Joe Elliott. So when what he, did he say? Left the question that I said because uh, we were in a state, and I could have said anything. <laughs> he said that it was Def Leppard, and that it was on through the night. Oh, uh, <laughs> I said that was my favorite Def Leppard record. Oh, okay, but it, it didn't cause you to pick up a guitar. No, and no, 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 no. Okay. He's full of it. Andrew, Rockland setting the record straight with Joe Elliott here. Yeah, no, it was. It was actually. Uh, actually, I do have to say this though. Uh, I do have to say this, so we, we, me and my friends, we played to that record, and we didn't even have instruments. We played on milk cans and buckets and stuff, and I had this guitar that, that uh, 
that played through a stereo. So I guess there is some truth to that. There was like one of the first albums I played guitar to, but I so think, it caused you to pick up a milk can. Well, I mean, we we, we didn't have instruments, so we made our own, and, <laughs> and, and we're trying to play like on through the night. You know, it was, it, so actually that is technically kind of kind of correct, I guess, in a way. But uh, the the guy that got me got the bug uh, that bit me was uh, Elton probably first. Yeah. When you're having a night like that, call me next time. I will. Yeah, we had a good time. I'll bear witness for you. It was <laughs> it was definitely uh, a long one. But you know we can't trust you, Bob, unless we got something. Like That's, right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, as I said a minute ago, the night is young. I'm sure uh -huh. you will before too very long. Yeah. Eric is waiting in Fargo, North Dakota. Eric, you're on Rockline with Allison Chains. Fargo. <laughs> Hello. Eric, Hello? you're on. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Um, so hey, how are you? Eh? Oh, not too bad. I was wondering uh, if you guys could tell me what the uh, inspiration was behind the song Get Born Again. Lane. Lane, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What's the inspiration behind that? Um, oh, uh, the inspiration behind Get Born Again. Um, Thanks. Just um, hypocrisy, I guess, basically. Hypocrisy um, from Religious who? hypocrisy. Okay. From who to whom? From who to whom? Um, that's no, nah, that doesn't need to be said. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just, just kind of uh, personal. Oh, Question kind of, answered. Okay. Question answered. That's all you guys are going to give. That's all you're going to get, Eric. That's all they're going to give to you tonight. We're going to head to Detroit to That's talk pretty with broad. You can Lydia. Take Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Hi there. Lydia. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Hi. I wanted to know um, what motivated you as a band to appear in the movie Singles. I saw it today. So. Uh, Cameron Aftis. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron Crowe asked him. He is the uh, the writer and producer of the film. He actually asked us to demo uh, demo some songs, and, and we uh, off of those demos. Uh, part of that was Sap, and uh, and it, it was like yeah, there was there was like a bunch of stuff on that, and uh, he picked he picked wood out of it, and we turned the rest into Sap and the next record, I think. And I would assume the obvious connection with Cameron would be Nancy Wilson, his wife. Who's yeah, well, it's, it's a small city up there, you know, yeah. and it's, and it's uh, it's kind of a family, and it's it's a really cool thing. So it was that part of it was really fun, uh, uh, you know, just being in that movie, but playing that song over and over on that pier it was was a murder, but it was fun. What do you think for being on? We'll head to Alice, sure. uh, Salisbury, Maryland, and speak with Bill. Bill, you're on Rockline with Allison Chains. With everybody, as a matter of fact. Oh, there. Spread out all over the country. That's, we're spread all out for you, pal. You know what I'm saying? Hello. I think you do. <laughs> yeah, Bill, you're yeah, on. Yeah, dude, speak. Go ahead, man. Yeah, I want to know who Alice is and how does she like to <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, you should worry about who Bill is at this point, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you could be in chains before the night is over, Bill. <laughs> You guys tired of asking questions? I think, I think that, questions that, would, that would probably be lame because, uh, you, you mean... That 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 would be your deal, dude. Lane, I gotta admit it's Bob Coburn. I've Who always wondered Alice? about the uh, name. I, you know, I've never even asked. I really you that. have. I've always wondered about the name. Are you asking me a question? We're asking you. Yeah. Okay, I'm having trouble hearing you guys. So. Okay. Who's Alice and what did he say? And and how does she enjoy being in chains? <laughs> oh, okay, that uh that story is basically um a bunch of drunken guys who had plans to uh start a a death metal band who dressed in drag. Right, the, right. the band never was formed, and so I took the name. <laughs> There you go. There you go. So there's your answer, Bill. I thought I thought Lane was going to say say that it had to do with religious hypocrisy, but <laughs> apparently not. No, Bob. That was the first one. That was the first one. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to keep up with the program here, Lane. <laughs> here we go. Man, man in the box. It's Alice in Chains, and uh, we're spread out all over the that country. Guy out. We're in California. We're in the state of Washington. We're in the state of New York. Uh, we got a call from Lansing, Michigan. We're in a state of disarray. <laughs> I like we got, that. Uh, well, Joe, you're nice on Rockline. Hey, Joe. Hey, hey, Joe Elliott. How's it going? How's it oh. going? <laughs> what's hey, up, dude? We're hey, doing... I got a question for Lane. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I was wondering, um, do you have any more mad seasons in the works? And if so, are you guys going to do any, like, small club dates or anything like that across the United States? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, double no. no. We're not, we're not uh, doing anything more. Uh, actually, uh, the bass player uh, passed on this last year. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. Baker. Baker, yeah. So um, nothing in the works for ad season. Yeah. Uh, Richmond, Virginia right now. Denise, Richmond. it's your turn. Hi, Denise. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the Hi. show. How you doing? I'm great. <laughs> um, all of your songs are completely perfect, but what I want to know is, out of all of your CDs and songs, which ones do each of you consider your most successful work? 
know, baby, what do you consider my most successful word? <laughs> <laughs> well, Wayne's in good form tonight. He always is. Go ahead, guys. Well, successful. I, I, I don't know. It's, 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 how do you chart success on the... the the, you know the, the sales of it, or the the number one records, or Grammy nominations, or just being happy so when much, you did it. Right? Yeah, I don't know. To <laughs> me, it's just a did we have a good time doing it? And uh, Jar Flies to me was always a special like, one. Just was, we got what together. Were, were there like Grammy nominations? No, no. I'm just saying, how do you know, measure, how do p other people measure <laughs> success for you? You know, perks I mean? you get like you know like five dollars off at Herfie's. You know, I I, I think for me that. Uh, you know, it's really hard to. It's like you know, what 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 are you hungry for from from day to day? You know, I mean, certain songs and and what you feel about them change, and that's the great thing about music. You know, it uh, can hit you in different moods. I mean, it's it's been a heck of a ride, and I've really enjoyed everything that we've done and all of the stuff we've gone through doing it. And uh, that's the, the the trip is even more even better than the than the music sometimes. You know? Let's do what we did a minute ago and throw it back on Denise and have her answer. Yeah, Denise. Denise, Denise, what do you think? What do you think is their most successful work? What do you like the best? Oh, come on now, come on! Don't don't climb uh, up on us now. You, 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 Denise, what's your what's your favorite Al Allison Chain song? Um, Man in the Box, definitely. Okay. Well, there you go, Man in the Box. And um, Am I Inside? And I Stay Away. No, I can't remember. Your favorite, not all your favorites. <laughs> those are all good. They are all those my are, Those are all good. Yeah, well, that's come, that's come, I'm, I'm kind of where you are, too. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for calling. There all right, you thanks go. for answering my question. Thanks, Denise. Bye. No all problem. Right. We're going to talk to Jason. Bye. He's located in Clinton, Missouri. Jason, you're Bye. on the rock line with all four members of Allison Chains. <laughs> and, there's, and, there's, and there's one right now. Hey, guys. Hey, Jace. How are you, bro? What's up? Uh, <laughs> who would you like to team up with on a song and why them? Uh, I'd like to team Zan up with Fear Farrah Fawcett because. and what? <laughs> Lane sings Zan Fear. The only pan, pan artist, artist, artist we know of. <laughs> yeah, Zan Fear rocks. Probably, I'd, I'd have to go with Lane on that. Zan Fear. Yeah, but Lane. It's you, either him or Kenny G. It's neck and neck with me. I mean, Kenny G's got better oh, hair. G, Lane, Lane, you got you. You, you can't. Lane and the G got a problem. Yeah, he's we're got. Gonna, a, we're gonna do a record call. Oh, G. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they've got Kenny. Well, Kenny G's uh, some of his best work. <laughs> Lane, remember when you were gonna do that record with Yanni? With Yanni? Yeah, Yanni Bacolas. <laughs> um, well, okay. Just kidding. What, the, what is a pan Yanni. flute anyway? That's what I want to know. Where the I heck like did that go What children from? dance to the pipes of pan? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> a drowned in ancient ruin. Oh, uh, man, this is and quite a night on rock pants. lines. Dude, you're in for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally in, in for, for it. it. <laughs> I'm in for it for half the show already, man. Yeah. All right, let's, let's play a song here. Jason, thanks Albany, for being on. Because I'd like to know what the hell there is to do in Albany. Because I've been here for a day, and it's it's about, you know, the dance of the dead. <laughs> you're basically I'd like to know is is there a nightlife? Is there a store that stays open past five? Is you're, there you're basically anything you're basically in the, in the mini bar and on the Spectrum New vision. York. That's it. That's all. <laughs> they don't even have spanker vision in my hotel room. No spanker. Dude, no, not even spanker vision. It's just like hey, how, how you about got a, four channels. How about Stay a mini it. mini bar? You got a mini bar? Spanker no, vision. no, oh, it's man. an Omni. It's what? an Omni hotel. You got and you got Paul cheese. Simon and. Uh, Bob Dylan are probably not seeing that. Go to their room. They got stuff. Hey, how they doing? Hey. Just go, you know, <laughs> go out and buy a VCR and get a porn <laughs> tape. I mean, come on, Sean. I'm you know, a lot of money, man. man. You know, just, just, I don't know. Frank, frankly, I've never heard of Bob Dylan myself, but I'm sure Ooh. he's cool. Cold piece of Dylan. You know. Oh, man. That's an angry chair he's sitting in. Let's play the song Angry Chair. Here we go. Alan's probably got like nine Man of War albums. <laughs> hey, a question for Jerry Cantrell. Yeah. Um, how did you enjoy your past no. tour with Metallica and Dave? You don't Dino? say. <laughs> that was that was really fun. We had a good time. I mean, it was uh, number one. It's a great spot. You're playing to a ton of people, and uh, I'd have to say that. I mean, I, honestly, I'd have to say uh, half the time it was really fun, and uh, the other half was kind of a drag. You know, um, just, I've only really played with Alice, so it was kind of it was uh, a little bit of testing in a way. But uh, you know, we had we had a good time, and I tell you what, I know a lot of Metallica tunes now. I know them all, pal. Da, 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 da. Hey! <laughs> well, they just did uh, an album with uh, a lot of cover songs in there. Uh, yeah. Alice in Chains ever do any Sean and I songs? know every Metallica tune. Yeah. Yeah. Is, Maybe basically. you can cover Metallica now. I kind of return the favor. Yeah. yeah. Throw it back in there. Cool. All right. All right, Richard. There you go, dude. On. There you go. Uh, uh, Salisbury, Maryland. Here we come again. Barry, Salisbury. Hi, Barry. Oh, is my, is um, Barry from Salisbury? Is that what he said? Barry from Salisbury. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up? Um, I was wondering... Um, 
How do you feel about the music scene today? It um, sucks. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Um, and is this on well, box set coming out? You're answering your own like, question. Like, Go ahead, dude. Like, I didn't get the last part of that. Yeah. But let, let, let him finish. What was the first part? <laughs> um, the box set coming out is it gonna be your last project? And um, a question for Lane. Um, what was the song Frogs written about? <laughs> Pretty. Pretty. It was written about those little green flying <laughs> animals. I was waiting for that. <laughs> they're they're related to the newt. Yeah, and the amphibious. Amphi yeah. The amph you know, with all that solidity, you won't find your normal swamp cre creatures flourishing. You know what? Tell you the truth, I can't even think of what lyrics to that song are right now, so I couldn't tell you. And, and I, Barry, what was the question about the box set? Uh, is it going to be the last project you guys will put out as a band together? We don't put I out. would hope not. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't put out. We don't pal. put out, pal. You know what I'm saying? We're high dollar hoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta get to know them first and take them to dinner. You know. You know, we just we just pretty much take it album by album, like we always have, man. And it's like uh, you'll you'll know when when we throw it out there, and 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 if we don't, uh, we'll be fishing. I think we'll do something else, probably. There you go, from Lane State. All right, there you, you go. Go. Rockland. Okay, we will. <laughs> All four members of Alice in Chains with us tonight, and uh, we're going to play this demo of Sea of Sorrow. Jerry, you seem to know a bit about this. Um, when when was this recorded? When did it come from? Uh, I think this was from uh, London Bridge, and uh, Rick Rick Parager and uh, Rick and Raj helped us out quite a bit, like in our early demos and stuff. They they pretty much did them for free, and uh, so like eighty eight or something. Yeah, something eight, eight, like yeah. eighty eight, and uh, but it sounds pretty good. I mean, it's. Uh, I like the energy on this better than the cut we did with Jordan. Uh, but sometimes that happens with, with songs. You, I you don't get, know. I like every version. <laughs> you like every version of Sea of Sorrow. <laughs> 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 such a good mood song. tonight, you know? Uh, this is not on Nothing Safe. I want people listening to Rockland know, uh, to know that this is not on Nothing Safe, but it will be on the box set that comes oh, out on October nice 5th. Depth. So, nice uh, depth. Sea of Sorrow is the name of that song, and that is a demo from 1988 by Alice in Chains. And uh, to my knowledge, never heard before in any other radio station except the uh, ones that are carrying Rockline tonight. Oh, so but it's go, being sold premiere. in Europe. No problem. <laughs> it's being sold in Europe. Yeah, yeah right. If one of you guys says we're big in Japan, you're out of here, man. <laughs> I've heard that so many times. Uh, to South Florida, we're going to head. We're going to talk with Kim. Hi, Kim. You're on. Hi. Um, wanted to find out which of the bands that you guys have influenced do you enjoy listening to? And those would be? No, I have the Doors, <laughs> uh, Zeppelin, the Beatles, Stones. In influence all those guys. Yeah, Sean's right on the money there, huh? Oh, bands we've yeah. influenced? Yeah, yeah, her oh, question, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I said, the well, Beatles. Like, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Zeppelin, you know. Yeah. Zeppelin. Anybody uh, want to uh, take this? Uh, who, who, who would Kim, this be? Kim, yeah, Kim, what bands I do you think they've influenced? Those Let's go back to Kim again here. <laughs> oh, yeah. a lot. Whoever like they are, that. they should have really got, you know, a job. Yeah, like Days of the News, Second Coming, Creed. I mean, I can throw out yeah. a, a whole ton of bands. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I don't listen well, to any of those. We're not going to go there, though. You're not going to go there? I don't listen to any of those no. bands. You don't listen to any That's of those I, I don't even listen to the radio. <laughs> we don't listen They're to really our pants. stuff. That's what we're done with it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do you listen to? Of the bands to? you mentioned, I don't Sports listen. radio. Sports radio. <laughs> you guys, man. You Spots. Blowing and, up. Rock and rock line. Every and rock line. And rock line. Yeah. water uh, sports radio. And <laughs> blowing off. <laughs> 150 <laughs> rock stations in North America by saying that, man. 1-800-P. The extra E is for extra P. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kim, it's a good question. It ain't going to get answered. If you have a glass coffee table, I'll be right over. Yo, oh, yeah. Hot lunch. See if we'll stay in the uh, Gulf area, but all the way on the other side and go to Hot Houston, up. Texas to talk with Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? I'm doing great. All right. What you got for the guys here? All four members of Allison Chains for the first yes, time. God knows how long. For all four of you guys, what one song has the most oh, emotional God, go, ties for y'all? Emotional I cry ties. Always. I cry at movies. I, I kind of cry when Traffic Sean plays hits. Misty for me. <laughs> Yeah, and believe me, Misty sometimes is not into it half the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can Misty come out? Boy, this is just going down the toilet, isn't it, man? Yeah, pretty totally. rapid over here. Yeah. I don't know. For, for me, my all-time Alice song is probably Nutshell off Jar of Flies. I just that's a good love one. that song. That's a good one. That's good. Yeah, that one. That's it. Frogs for me. Tough. Frogs for me. That was one can get handy. tough. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, hey, thank Jerry. you for thanks, for thanks Sean. <laughs> the the banter and the excitement is just too much for me to handle right now, you guys. Yeah, we kind of yeah. dropped off there. Yeah, right? I mean, you you know, first of all, I couldn't understand anybody because you're on four talking and now nobody's mm -hmm. saying a word. I can't you know? hear. And I can't hear. It's all I can hear from Lane over and over again. We'll get you a better connection, Lane. All right. We're
And uh, we got all kinds of things happening. We got Jerry Cantrell and Mike Inez from Allison Chains in the studio with me here in Hollywood. We got Sean Kenny in uh, where the hell are you again, Sean? Albany. Albany. New Albany. York. And we got uh, we got Lane up in Seattle or uh, the environs thereof. So uh, we're kind of spread out all over the place here and taking phone calls. Seattle yeah, is correct, Bob. Yes, Seattle is <laughs> correct. Thank you very much, Lane. Thank you for checking in with me tonight. And uh, let's see, we got a couple of uh, Pennsylvania calls. Line. We'll hit we'll hit the bigger cities here. We'll start with Pittsburgh and uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Woo! Jerry's favorite football team, you guys. Yes. Uh, hey, when you put out your self-titled CD, mm-hmm. you put out the Nona tape, the video. Oh, yeah. It was, that, that was so funny. I hope you guys do something like that again. Thank was you. that Jerry, the host, dressed oh. up as Nona? Oh, yeah, I was in drag. Totally. Oh, that was so funny. Are you guys going to do something like it that again? It was creepy if you were, if you were <laughs> really there. I scared, the hell out of, <laughs> I scared the hell out of Lane, actually. It, it was really weird because he actually got breast implants for the part. We're like, hey, Jer. Boy, get, that's... Get those things yeah, taken out. Get, like, get, getting those things taken out hurt, home. man. <laughs> Next time, try method acting. I actually got his number. It was actually kind of... Was, it was, was kind of weird for me. It was kind of funny, actually. Uh, uh, you know, I got made up like that, and, and Lane hadn't seen me yet. And I, w- I was sitting in this car, and uh, our tour manager brought, brought Lane over, opened the door, and uh, he got in, and he just freaked, man. He didn't want to be within maybe 10 feet of me after that. So Marilyn Manson pretty much copied you then, huh? She copied me, totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Lane, did you totally freak out when you saw this? Of course, these well, are yeah, my uh, It was my, my manager uh, introduced me to Jerry as our producer's mother. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> And I believe he I bought mean, it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and until he smiled, and he just kept smiling, smiling at me really weird. And, and I figured it out, and it creeped me out. <laughs> Jerry, would you ever go on stage looking like that? I have. You have with Alice. With uh, oh, you got it. Uh, on uh, you should do yeah. all our Halloween, uh, Halloween shows. Drag. We're Lane, always in drag. Lane, you would yeah. you would think you'd kind of be getting used to this by now, man. Well, I'm, See, I'm he, used to it in, like, the funny parody kind of thing, but yeah. Jerry was too convincing. You know? <laughs> and, 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 and people don't know this, but it took him two weeks to actually take the dress off and get out of character. He was that well, much he didn't want to. Taking the, bre- <laughs> taking the breast implants, taking the breast implants out and hurt. She uh, didn't want to. She didn't want to. Brandon, oh, ow. Brandon, she see what you started, man. Being, see what, what you started. on words, right, guys? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Jerry, um, do you have your breast done tonight? No, totally oblivious yeah. right yeah. now. Oh uh, yeah, I, I've got one in. You got, got one in. Yeah. So we're just thinking he had his hood pierced. He doesn't even have a hood. Doesn't even have a hood. <laughs> it's just one of those internet rumors. Yeah, but you know uh, that must have really screwed up your Corvette, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what they do when your blowholes out? Nobody wants you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, geez, Tough man. One. Uh, Brandon, look what you started. My God, what a mess you've gotten us into. Uh, Philadelphia, Kevin, you're in Rockland with Allison Chains. Good luck, Kevin. Hello. Philly. Hi, Kev. Hello. Kevin, we're, we're all up about here, and you're down down there somewhere. You're Jump pick, in, pick dude. It up, man. Jump pick it in, up. buddy. All right. Uh, <laughs> I have a question for Lane. Well, uh, what is the most satisfying aspect of his life right now? What is the what? The most satisfying aspect of your life right now. Um, Just, uh, just being me all around, I think, is pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy about it. Jerry, what about you? What's the most exciting aspect of your life right now? Uh, that that Lane's very happy about his life. And, <laughs> yeah. And, and Mike, uh, what would you throw in? Uh, I, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. While you actually, th- actually I, I ordered a new car. I'm pretty excited about that right now. Uh, now, were you able to boss around the salespeople a little bit? Of course. That's that's. I wasn't even really planning on buying a car. I just wanted to go in and boss them around. But <laughs> <laughs> that's like the end of it. What kind of car? Uh, a Ram Air Trans Am. Oh, wow. cool. American made. Oh, man. That's, 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 take that's a, a time. 98 or 99? Ah. The same question. What's the most satisfying aspect of your life? Probably being in Albany tonight, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, right yeah, besides there. Albany's throbbing nightlife, <laughs> I'd have to say it's probably... Uh, my hair. Yeah. <laughs> he my does hair. have to do. It's very and aerodynamic. And oh, yeah, cut. I changed my answer. Sean's hair is mine, too. Yeah. He, yeah. he, he does I'm wonderful much, things I think with my it. hairdo says it all. Gee, your hair and, smells terrific. Uh, it's pretty much all of my Of course, hair. that was a midget that said that to me. But, hey, you guys, wait, <laughs> wasn't he just asking me? 
Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. That's, I don't know why. Shut I don't know why Bob yeah. threw it around the horn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I threw it around the room, yeah, yeah. or something. He, around the horn. He boomeranged it. Yeah, I have to be. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, that. Hey, Bob. Yeah. Bob, come on, you're pro. <laughs> <laughs> not, not after tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hanging with us. I'll never work there, in buddy. this town again. Uh, we're gonna play Rooster in a uh, whole other state of disrobe. We actually got a demo version of Rooster we could throw up too if you guys got it. I think that's what we're gonna play. Yeah, play the demo. Rooster, yeah, yeah. And this is from. Nothing safe. Yeah. Is that what we have? Got no shirt on. Yeah. Oh, I don't know shirt. if they're getting it together in time here. Half Okay, well, this this is an unplugged version that we have for Pretty Nothing Safe. Okay, cool. Is that cool? Yeah. Damn near all right, all right. Here we go. Here's Rooster oh, for you. Yeah. Allison Jones. Oh. Rooster reported live for you on Rockline, Allison Chains, and we've got the entire band with us tonight, all four members. That wasn't the demo, no, that was the uh, live version, yeah. here, which is on... From Glasgow. Nothing safe. This from Glasgow? Glasgow, yeah. from Glasgow. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a call the from San Diego. There, remember yeah. that? And in uh, San Diego is Chad. Chad, you're on Rockline with Allison Chains. With Chad. all of them. Lane, uh, you did some work uh, with Second Coming on their first album. Actually, the last song actually did some lyrical work. But he came first. Actually, I did work with the brother of the singer of Second Coming about ooh, 12, 13 15. years ago. <laughs> totally and uh, that was that was that song. And uh, they put it on their album. So it didn't actually have anything to do with that band. That was before we even got together. Yeah. That was Ron Holt, right? Ron Holt. That was the name yep. of the guy, yeah. Yeah. That was before Alice was even going on. Yeah, that was before us. That was before Second Coming. So they just they just uh, threw that on there so they'd have like a claim to fame type publicity. deal with their record. Yeah. So I guess for the record, I don't record. mind saying that because the singer ripped me off, punk. Yeah, yeah. Punk there ass. You yeah, you yeah. tell him, man. You Wait call till him we out. see that guy. You call him out on Rockline. You go for it, Lane. I will. All right, Chad. <laughs> punk. <laughs> Just the tone in your voice. This is my highlight of Albany right now. <laughs> uh, let's head from San Diego to Washington, D.C. we got Billy. Billy, uh, it's your shot on Rockline. Hey, um, I was wondering if uh, you guys had any plans to play some more live show coming up, maybe for New Year's or more. We're going to play your bar mitzvah, Billy. We're going to play there, and then maybe a, like a, in the mail, a family right? reunion of some sort. That's, a, that's of you course, call it. course, barring the check bouncing, of course. Yeah, which yeah, is always gonna, a possibility. Give us ten yeah. days to make sure the check clears. And we're there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys good at uh, Havanagila? You got that one worked out yet? You know? Monagahela? What? <laughs> if you're gonna play the bar mitzvah, you got to play Havanagila. Oh. I mean, come on. You know? Dead. We're oh. doing a show, but it's gonna be kind of like this. I'm gonna be in Seattle. Jerry will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but if I'll if have to come back to if, Albany as if, punishment for <laughs> if we play. Uh, <laughs> If we play a bar mitzvah, do we have to wear those Yamahas on our head? Yamahas, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yamaha. <laughs> uh, Yamaha. Uh, we can get your Kawasaki if you want. We, can, right. we can get you to bail out of that one, yeah. Uh, man. Uh, <laughs> so I think, Lane, are you, you're probably hitting it on the head here. For New Year's Eve, you guys are going to be like the show tonight. You're going to spread out probably over about four continents, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. How many people are camped in your yard right now, Lane? Oh, God, I don't even want to look out the window, it, you know, for fear they might see me. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lane Staley's house, Makes man. you think you're, Pitch like, in Brazil quick. or something. How many crazy chicks have their luggage stacked in front of my door right now? I don't know. He has to beat them off of the stick. Right. He has yeah. to beat them off of the stick. Uh, remember, that one that, remember that one that camped out in front of your apartment that one time for, like, a week, Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's unbelievable. Got cool. a similar cool. story. Cool. Not that extreme, but similar that's been going on recently. Really? Yeah. Another freak. Yeah, actually, wow. another good friend of mine turned freak. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bur the worst kind, man. They all got to do it sooner or later. Is yeah. this an ongoing well, story, Lane? They, they are the worst a, kind. They have your real phone number. Yeah, right. The early 60s, <laughs> really Bob. Bob. Since the early right. 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the Austin Powers film incorporated that, that's I think. Right. Yeah, there you go. When Lane put out that, hey, how about me album? Yeah. <laughs> 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 What would we do without the burping sound effect tonight? I don't know. We've had Jerry Cantrell and, uh, let's see, uh, Mike Inez. Sean's and, uh, burp. Sean Kenny. I don't know if I didn't and, catch uh, Lane burp. And Lane Staley. And, uh, Maybe Lane can th fart. This is a chance for you guys to actually talk to each other for the first time in a while, all four of you. If anybody need to send what any messages to anybody or anything? I can't hear Bob very well. Or yeah, I can. Bob uh, dropped down here. Yeah, I, that's actually because I left the show. No, we don't. We don't talk actually in person. We all just I hear email. is Sean. You just just yeah, email just each totally other and talk on Rockline every four or five years. There, there, so. there we go. Yeah. Bob's yeah. just completely bound by the internet. Now, what have what have we learned tonight? We have learned that Lane Staley is ready to go. 
He, he wants to play. He wants to perform. He's ready to do something at some point when the time is right and everybody's comfortable mm -hmm. with it. We've learned that much. I'm recording, on that. I'm recording a record right now. We, uh, It'll take but, me to the end of the rest of the year. It's actually two records at once. So, that will be Jerry's uh, second solo Yeah, my second and third record, actually. We have also learned that... But, uh, yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's it's like any... You know, we'll, we'll get together when we want to make some tunes. And, uh, and, and as, you know, Lane, I've heard Lane say this I just before. recorded seven albums at once. <laughs> as, nobody as, wants to as, hear them. As long as we're still doing stuff that's valid and that we enjoy, we'll keep making music. It's a box we'll set by itself, music, but nobody wants to hear it. Yeah, right. And we have also learned off music. the air tonight that Mike has told the crudest joke about a recent... Oh, no, no. Don't even oh, this like don't 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 we're, we're not going to go there. Don't, because it's don't just, even go there. I, I was thoroughly disgusted, to be honest Don't even go there. Thanks for bringing it up, Bob. I can't wait to get off the air and go tell it to about 40 people. I know myself. That's hard. my material. And what else have we learned tonight? We have learned that Sean is in Albany and is the most bored man in the history of the universe there tonight. So if anybody can call WRVE in Albany and tell Sean, where do you go in Albany at 1 o'clock in the morning? In fact, we should. Come we should. He's not bored yeah. now, but when we hang up, he will be. Yeah, there I you go. I will be back in my room with the in lotion, fact, yes. say, We should give the number to Sean's hotel over the air here, so, you know, it'll give him something to do. Oh, oh that'll give him something to yeah, do, without sure. a doubt. Yeah, sure. we'll, we'll put your number, number over the air, Sean's hotel. Yeah. <laughs> and we've also learned that nothing uh -huh. safe is out and in the stores.